Hey, what's going on guys? It's Greg Jones for Engine Builder and welcome to another shop tour. Today we're in Tavares, Florida and we're checking out Drizza Auto. Uh, we're gonna be talking with owners Derek and Rita Trosam. Uh, these guys specialize in JDM engine work, uh, specifically Nissan stuff. They do some awesome stuff, so we're excited to go check it out. Uh, if you guys are uh, not familiar with Drizza, uh, the name is derived of the first letters of each of their family members' names. So you got Derek, Rita, and then their sons, Zach and Aiden. That makes up the Drizza Auto name. And uh, like I said, these guys do some awesome Nissan engine work. So let's go check it out. All right, guys, so now we're inside Drizza Auto and I'm joined by shop owners Derek and Rita. Derek, yeah. thanks so much for uh, having us come in. Absolutely. Yeah. Rita, no problem, always, no always a pleasure. Yeah, yeah. thank you guys. Uh, thank you guys for being here. Yeah, obviously anyone that's you know really familiar with the engine builder stuff knows that you know we've done articles over the years. We've featured Correct. some of your engines. Uh, when it's come to the Nissan stuff, you know, you've been a, a nice source for those articles. So we uh, always appreciated that. But I've never been here in person. Uh, like many of the people watching, they've probably only seen the shop uh, through photos and things. Yeah. So excited well, to check it out. Yeah, welcome. thank you. Welcome um, all of you guys. So Derek and Rita, before we get into the tour, uh, tell the folks just a little bit about your background and you know how the shop kind of came to be and, and why Nissan stuff you know, specifically. <laughs> okay. Well, um, I've worked at dealerships. I taught at dealerships. Um, I went from many di different dealerships uh, as a tech. And so I it just became where I was working on Nissans. I was familiar with them. I am familiar with Toyotas also. Yeah. Uh, I have Toyota training also and some Honda. Yeah. Uh, worked at Chevy for a while too, but not too much. Uh, I got into the Japanese stuff through my younger brother actually because he wanted a Japanese car, a Honda. Mm -hmm. And um, he bought a Honda and then he wanted to race it. So I ended up getting into, into that. And then I kind of stared away from that and went into the Nissan stuff. And then I just stuck with Nissans pretty much. Yeah. Uh, I like the way they wire stuff up and they, they work with their things. Yeah. So. Their technologies. But their technologies are yeah. a little bit different than other companies. and. Uh, I kind of grew attached to it mm -hmm. and um, worked there and then decided to open my own stuff again. Uh, I had a small shop with a friend just for hobby stuff back and then back in New York. Okay. And uh, I just decided to, like I said, open up this up and it started from a one bay thing and now it's bloom into this. Yeah. One bay uh, weekend. Yeah, weekend. One, two o'clock in the morning. <laughs> right, right. Like, yeah. Yeah. So definitely the, from the definitely hobby to cool. the professional, the professional yeah. stuff. Yeah. yeah. Very um, cool. It's fun. Yeah, absolutely. Well, yeah, like you said, uh, the Nissan stuff's unique, but it's certainly fun. It is. Yeah. Um, one of the things, too, it's just that a lot of people didn't understand it and they, they couldn't get past like the RBs or the 2Js, uh, the SR, sorry. Mm -hmm. And um, so I kind of knew a lot about that. and with their different platforms. Yeah. Uh, and a lot of people were asking me questions about it. I was like, hey, maybe I should do something with this. And this is how most of this evolved. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the 370 engines, those yeah. are kind of unique as well. Yep. I Absolutely. know a lot of people that have issues with putting together 370 engines and stuff like that with the twin turbos, mm -hmm. uh, lifting heads. And um, so far, we, we've been successful with them. Yeah. Yeah. So. Now, how long have you guys been in this particular location? In this location, we're here going on six years. Okay. Prior to that, we were in Winter Garden, okay. which is close to Orlando, where we were there for about eight years. Okay. Yeah. Very good. Uh, we kind of outgrew that area and that facility. Yeah. Yeah. So. One bay, very small. Yeah. yeah. A lot of stuff. Yeah. 1,500 yeah. square feet do we started with. Okay. And, and how many square feet is this roughly? Uh, we're 5,500. Okay. Right yeah. Now. Yeah. Pretty good upgrade then. 
Uh, <laughs> it is. We thought we were going to have a lot of space when we looked at this the first time. It was like, uh, yeah, we're not going to fold this up for years. Three months later, this thing's packed. Yeah. yeah. So it so was pretty cool. Could, could uh, take another upgrade sometime uh, soon, right? Oh, yeah. We might yeah. be. Yeah. <laughs> we'll Very see. Good. For sure. Well, and then it's just the two of you guys running the shop, kind of doing everything, right? Yes. Yeah. 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 Very good. Um, I do the diagnostic and tearing apart and stuff like that. She tears all the engines down. Uh, she knows what to look for. And um, then when we get together, we put them back together. Yeah. Um, yeah. So. Cool. Cool stuff. All right. Well, we're just in the lobby here, uh, kind of the entryway for the shop. So let's, I'll, I'll let you take over and uh, kind of sure. show us around. And uh, I know you got a couple of engines here right, yeah. right in front of us. But Well, we have... Um, like some of the products that we use all the time and which we sell also. Yeah. Uh, we start, I guess we'll start with the Toyota stuff. We have yeah. the 1J here that we're getting ready to put into uh, SC300. Okay. Uh, this one here is a 3.4 liter 2J that we might be putting into a 240. Okay. Uh, we're not sure, but most likely it's going to be a 240 actually. Yeah. Uh, and then we have our famous RB. The green one there? The green one. Yeah. And the uh, SR20 is going to go be, be going into a time attack car. Okay. That we have in the back. The chassis is done. Now we're getting ready to do the wire harnesses. Yeah. And then we'll do the engine, put yeah. the engine together and finish it up. Cool. Uh, the VQ... It's a Pro Charger VQ okay. that we're doing for a three, uh, 370, uh, 350, excuse me. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So Nice. We kind of display the engines a, a little bit before we get them uh, into the cars. So people come in and they see it and yeah. Yeah. they'll admire it. Yeah. No, it's always cool to see an engine uh, up close like that out of the car. So. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Plus it Definitely. sits better here while we are, we're working on the car. Yeah, the while we're working right? on the body right. and the wire harnesses and the, and the engine bay, it's here. It's already ready to go. So when we're finished yep. with the engine bay stuff, we'll just, it's there to get the uh, install and it, uh, the process works a little bit faster. Right. For right. us. Absolutely. So oh, Very cool. All right. Come on in. Oh, wow. You guys got a lot of cars here at the ready. Yeah, awesome. we have quite a bit um, yeah. that's going on at the moment. So here's a couple of cars that we're working on. Uh, you want to start over there? Yeah, we can yeah. start with the R32. Oh, wow. This thing's really cool. Yeah, this is a cool car, uh, definitely. R32, it's an RB20. Okay. Um, it's going to be getting an RB25 upgrade to it. Uh, the car drifts okay it does ride alongs it drifts and stuff like that so it's not bad at all yeah. um it's a fun car and so what what's this one in the shop for well it was at the track and we had a sudden downpour and the track it's kind of wavy so on a on a pa um, tandem he actually end up in a puddle and sucked up water and hydro locked it mm. so that's why it's here okay. for the upgrade, possibly. Yeah. And, we'll and what kind of work does that require when you, when you hydro lock an engine like this? Uh, hydro locking this thing here, we'll pull it out. We'll take it apart and see. Uh, hopefully, he didn't do too much damage to like the crank or the block. Mm -hmm. But we'll see what happens when we take it apart because okay. it, it's locked solid. If yeah, right so it could be a lot of bottom end work. And Mostly bottom end, okay. I would say. Gotcha. Yeah. Very for good. sure. Um, then we have an SR20 here. Yeah. The camo on top. Camo on cool. top. This this car has a unique um, history, I guess mm -hmm. you would say. So, this car was actually a customer car that he came in to for us to finish it up because it. It wasn't getting done as quick as he wanted it. Yeah. Um, and my older son was actually over there. He had an S13 that he was uh, sanding down and stuff it's like that. The same one. The same one that he wanted to build for Young yeah. Guns for okay. SEMA. 
and the guy just saw him rubbing away and, and sanding away in the engine bay and then he he brought the car over we looked at the car and it was a total mess like everything was all apart wiring yeah 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 uh didn't run so then he he called me back like a week ago a, a week after sorry and he's like hey i have a unique request um and i was like yeah sure what what you got he's like well would you mind me giving this car to your son because when i was his age I was dying for a car like this and I saw the enthusiasm and the, and the passion that he had yeah. for the car. And when I spoke to him, he was like, yeah, this is my first car and I wanted, he's like, I'm in a position where I love the car, but I would like, I would like to see him finish it. Yeah. And if he finishes it, then it's his. Very cool. So he actually wow. gave him the car. That's really neat. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he, he does work for the military, that's why the camo stuff okay. is in, in okay. embedded with it. Um, he does keep up with it and yeah. keep track of it. And now, so how long ago did he uh, get the car and, and finish it um, off? About four years. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, awesome. About four years. Very cool. Yeah. So that's, that's I thought that story. was a really, really cool yeah. um, gesture. Absolutely. And uh, yeah, we actually became friends. Yeah. <laughs> you know. He wants to come and drive it. He could drive it, take it for the weekend or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. We really have neat. to dash out right at the moment because we're trying to get some gremlins out of it mm -hmm. for the wire harness. It's a little wonky with something in the dash. Yeah. But, um, and then we're currently putting air conditioning back in it. Okay. We need a AC in Florida. Yeah, you do. <laughs> uh, yeah, th this week it's cooler than normal, right? Absolutely. But, yeah, it's normally uh, pretty warm down here for sure. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Uh, most of our cars, we put AC in them. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, come along. Let's see what else fun stuff we have. Yeah. So, out of the realm, uh, we yeah. have a Evo here. Yeah. So this Evo, we built the engine for it. Okay. Um, our friend did all the body work. He's a body guy. Okay. And we built the engine. This went to SEMO this year. Nice. It yeah, was an iconic boot. Gorgeous car. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, second dyno pole, it made 550. Nice. Um, so it is pretty cool to see that we built something and it went to SEMO. Uh, I mean, we yeah. do a lot of stuff with SEMO stuff too on the back ends, not directly. Right. But yeah. That's awesome. So specifically, you want to talk a little bit about um, the, the Evo engine in there? Yeah, so on this 4G, 4G um, 63, okay. we've done uh, pistons, rods, manly, manly, t um, manly pistons, turbo tough rods. Yeah. Uh, we did the head with valves, springs, retainers. Uh, we put all the goodies into it Yeah. Uh, and then put it back together. We did the balance shaft delete and so on and so forth with it. Yeah. It's got a dual friction uh, clutch in it. Very nice. Um, yeah. Now, is this, uh, again, it went to SEMA, but is this, uh, you know, someone's street car? Or do they do anything else with it? Or? Uh, this car is a street car slash um, fun yeah. daily driver yeah. for now. Okay. Yeah. And here comes the owner. Uh, yeah, here comes right. the owner. <laughs> so we Very could good. introduce you to the owner. Come on in, Jack. Cool. I don't want to interrupt. Oh, you're fine. We're, we're, just, we're, we're just talking a, about the car. At we're the admiring moment. your car here. Thank you. Gorgeous yeah. Evo. Okay. Hey, right. Greg, Greg with Engine Builder. Engine yeah, that's me. So, Derek's yeah. the man. He did all the engine work on this car. Nice. I just stood and said, what tool do you need? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just watch him do his thing, right? Yeah. 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 Very cool. I know all the show and shiny stuff and how to make it look pretty, but Derek yeah. knows all the engine stuff. and. Uh, we got this thing together in like no time. Yeah. And it was like after like, I think we had, we ran like four or five different problems where it was just like, stop, wait, go get parts. Stop, yeah. Wait, go get parts. It's yeah. just nonstop. But every step along the way, like Derek handled it like a champ and we just, we got this thing running good. I just awesome. launched it this morning. It was fun, great car. Yeah, I bet. So it's, it's really fun. We just doing the finishing touches on it and things like that. There's no leaks. I mean, yeah. I've, it's got about 600 miles on this engine right now. Okay. Uh, and I've been 600 hard miles. Yeah. 
but I mean I Cerakoted that the other day just to finish off the engine bay and then okay. I mean everything else is it's been yeah good. a lot of the uh, fasteners were changed out to titanium stuff yeah. so yeah. we got all titanium stuff into it nice uh, so and how long ago was it at SEMA uh, it was just past SEMA oh okay yeah. okay yeah so yeah. when in the For, Koenig wheel booth uh, yeah they, they put these wheels on it uh, they haven't released them yet they come out this summer okay or spring I think and uh yeah, we had the hood off just to show all the prettiness and everything. The like Supra that. that's outside, yeah. uh, we put together that one, and that was the previous year. Okay. The blue Supra that's outside. Okay. So. Awesome. Um, awesome. Thanks. Yeah, we have a R33 GTR here that we're getting ready. Actually, we'll show you the engine yeah. that we're getting prepped to go. Engine bay is getting redone. Uh, getting it all prepped for it. Yeah. yeah. It had some surface rust, like all GTRs. Uh, like most I would say that uh, that was on the top so we got the guy come in and clean them up and yeah did all the stuff so it's ready nice. we're gonna stick it back on the trailer and take it back over there for them to do it okay they ran out of space on yeah. that but yeah this should be pretty nice RB26 uh, GTR when, yeah. it, when we're done with it we're doing a single turbo uh, probably like a 62 62 turbo into it yeah. uh, making about 657 okay uh, we're not going crazy with this one yeah and again is this uh, just a street application street car okay. yeah and very cool this car may be going back to Japan oh yeah yeah so the owner he's in the military and he works in Japan so he wants the car back yeah uh, so it may be going back when we're finished with it okay which is pretty cool that yeah. um, a Japanese car came to America yeah and we're building it and then sending it back to Japan yeah definitely that cool. will be pretty yeah. awesome for, me. for sure <laughs> for sure yeah but cool. it is a really cool car uh, we have a lot of parts that we that uh, that was hard to get mm -hmm. And we just finally got them all in so now the project's gonna roll pretty smoothly yeah pretty quickly yeah i'll be excited so. to check out the engine here in a bit oh yeah yeah, yeah we have the little short block set up i got to do the crank and stuff like that cool and the famous se 300 or fake supras uh we're gonna do a 1j swap into it okay uh should be cool. that's the blue 1j that's in the, in the front in yeah. the front okay that we're getting ready to do and nice. put back in here. I'm nice. waiting on a couple of pieces, and then when we get it, we're gonna start yeah. getting it into it. So we have a 95 S14, and we have an SR20 DE swap that we actually took out, we salvaged it out of uh, our right-hand drive, Sylvia. And we're gonna stick, we sticked it in here. Okay. We did the RB30 into the Sylvia. Yeah. Uh, because the owner wanted more power out of it. Yeah. So currently it has about 750 on the Sylvia. So we're going to just use this as a daily driver for whatever and hang on to it maybe. Yeah. To nice. keep the 240s alive. Right, right. <laughs> yeah. Got to do what you can, right? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, this one is a 96 wow. 300ZX. Wow. The owner had it for a while and he doesn't want to get rid of it. It's just been sitting in his backyard. So he decided for us to um, swap something else into it. Uh, he wants to do a fun car, but he wanted a Nissan plant, a power plant. Yeah. So he came up with this. I was like, yeah, this thing's going to be sticking out of the hood. Mm -hmm. He's like, I don't care. It's my car. I just, I would like a Nissan power plant. Yeah. And as, if it's in America where I could get parts fast. Yeah. So we end up getting a VQ okay. out of a 05 350. Okay. So we're going to mod it, air conditioning, um, everything should work on it when we're done with it, um, oh. including dash and all of that stuff. Yeah. So this should be fun. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. Now, what does he have to do to, uh, to the hood to get this to fit? Is it just... You know, yeah. Uh, well, I'm going to be cutting the hood, but I'm going to lower the engine a little bit. Okay. I'm going to modify the lower cradle yeah because i have about an inch and a half so okay. i could bring this down about an inch and a half Save so we we'll probably see half of the intake okay out of the hood yeah um i'll probably bring the engine about two inches forward because it's currently touching the cowl yeah 
I would have room for electronic fans and mm -hmm. all of that stuff there. Yeah. Very good. So that's pretty cool. A little bit of mod. Yeah. And we'll get it to fit. Yeah. <laughs> Very for nice. For sure. Very nice. Yeah. This is a young man that bought a, his first drift car. Okay. And he wants to drift. So uh, he got it and the turbo, eBay turbo blew up. Ah. Uh, manifold cracked. Yeah. So it's here. Yeah. We're waiting on the manifold and the turbo for it. So we have an S13 that we're going to be doing for a time attack. Okay. Uh, chassis stuff is done. We're doing, we're going to get ready to do the engine harness for the brake lights and all the amenities that we have. Um, we're going to run a PDM system, mm -hmm. most likely Holotech stuff. Okay. Into this whole setup. And it's the green SR20 that's in the office, which yeah. is a 2.1 SR now. Yeah. So we're going to be putting into this. Okay. Awesome. So. Very nice. Yep. Let's take a look at the Honda where it all yeah. started. Uh, yeah. We could show you the Honda where lots of this stuff has started. This is a... Uh... Oh, nice. As they say, this is the uh, big block, big block Honda. <laughs> yeah. um, H22, it's been in here since, uh, I would say, 2001, 2000, 2000, late 2001. And, and this is uh, your car, right? This is my car, okay. yes. Uh, it made seven and change to the ground. Wow. Uh, the first pass that we did at English Town, I did a 926 with it. Wow. Back so over uh, back. almost 25 years ago? Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Those were good numbers back then. <laughs> yeah. That yeah, was huge sure. numbers back then. For sure. Uh, but yeah, it's a scary, fun car. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. I can um, imagine. I have since taken it apart. Uh, I took the fuel cell back out of it, um, kind of making it street streetable again. Yeah. So I could drive it around once in a while. Uh, but yeah, this is where all the craziness and... The drizzle started. Yeah, the passion started. The here. passion started. Yeah. Absolutely, very cool. Even though I grew up with Chevys, uh, like I said, my younger brother, he he loves Hondas, and mm -hmm. he wanted me to get a Honda. So we started bracket racing Hondas. Yeah, with him, yeah. Uh, and I kind of completely died away from Chevys, and the Honda became yeah. alive. Yeah, and yeah. So, yeah, that's very cool. Yeah, and that's my old Supra that I've been keeping and I haven't gotten rid of it. Uh, yeah. I refuse to let it go. Yeah. So we're going to... Yeah, it's collecting. Yeah, it's collecting. <laughs> it's uh, collecting other things. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Very good. But well, that's awesome. It is cool. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we have a lot of our goodies. Even though it looks like a mess there, to me, it, oh, they're great engines. goodies. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. all our engines and stuff like that. Okay. That's sitting there. Yeah. That we keep. Yeah. We there have when the you two need J's. To grab stuff. Yeah. yeah. Well, they're hard to get now because it's the two, uh, mostly two J's, uh, RBs, SRs, that we hold on to. Yeah. Okay. Uh, things that we we can't find rel relatively easy right. these right. times. But yeah, come on, let's show it. Uh, so we have our hose machine that we make our crimp our own hoses and stuff like that for okay. air, air conditioning and stuff. Yeah. Pretty much all of uh, our fab, all work, our fab work gets done here. here. Yeah. We have our own bender and stuff that we make our fan shrouds and so on and so forth. Okay. With our bender for two benders and stuff. Yeah. It's kind of a mess at the moment. It's not usually this messy, but we've been press on time for fixing cars, oh, sure. so we yeah. haven't work, cleaned up. Work gets in the work way, gets in of, the way. Uh, exactly. staying tidy sometimes, yeah. right? Uh, here's our welding fab area that I do all my welding and stuff okay. like that. So Yeah, very good. Yeah. It's, yeah, like I said, it's really tight at the moment. I try not to keep it this way. Yeah. But it is what it is. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And this is, uh, this is Aiden's car. Okay. Um, Aiden's the A. Yeah. In Drizzle. And he wants a coupe. So we, we found a coupe in, from one of my friends in Georgia. 
and he had it in his barn sitting for years. Uh, so we went up and we got it for his 13th birthday or 14th birthday? 14th, 14th okay. birthday for him. Nice. Uh, we brought it back, so he's been working, he's on, been it working on it slowly. Yeah. But school is a priority for them. Yeah. So they get it. They pretty much touch these cars. There are two cars in the summertime. Yeah. When they're home. Other than that, it's track and schoolwork. Yeah. Yeah. So. What uh, and what does he do for track? What what type uh, of? Uh, he does uh, shot put okay. and. Um, uh, he's a he he wants yeah. to throw Discus, stuff, discus, shot, shot put. Oh, that's neat. Yeah. Yeah. And then the big one, he's a runner. Yeah, the older one, Hurdles. he's a hur hurdler, sprinter. Um, sprinter. Okay. Yeah. Very cool. So they're both into track. Yeah. Track yeah. and field stuff. Track and field stuff. Yeah. That's cool. That's cool. This is an SR that we're getting ready to put together. Like I said, um, Mozwork do our machining stuff for us. Yeah. So they machined it. We got it and now we're getting ready to put um check the pistons yeah. massage them and all that good stuff to them and assemble everything together yeah uh this is the rb26 that's going into r into the gtr r33 okay uh, this is the famous rb26 block that's sitting there yeah so i'm doing some final measurements and then we'll start getting the pistons and all that like everything is laid out there right but the first one is getting pistons and rods in here cranks okay. already done yeah uh got the inserts for the oil squirters and stuff like that mm -hmm. do different oil squirters on them nice usual yeah, like um uh, manly pistons cps uh all the goodies yeah. arps yeah so the head's already finished and we plastic it out so it'll and sit and that's the rb head that is the rb26 head yeah. it is port polish it bigger out. cam all that good stuff uh, let's see if we could take a peek uh, so that's the rb26 head that has all the goodies in it springs retainers all, uh, fresh. all yeah. fresh uh cams yeah what would we use uh, this one has SuperTech Super uh, valve train, but uh, it has the Tomei cams in it. Okay. Yeah. So. Yeah, they seem to be popular for the. Yeah, they the are. JDM stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Tomei has a, a decent idle when it's when it's a higher lift. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people like that. They don't like the um, the choppiness. I would say, but. I like the choppiness. <laughs> yeah, I think a lot of people do. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. I found that a lot of the um, import guys they don't like so much of a choppy mm -hmm. sound out of them because they're the idle control on a, on a Nissan rather they're a little bit cumbersome. It, it's harder to get them to idle mm. the uh, the way the idle control valve is set up. Yeah. So that's why it's harder for them to drive it. So they go with uh, a smoother idle control. Gotcha. On, on the ca uh, duration on the cams. Right. To right. Get, a, get a better idle. Okay. But. Makes sense. But yeah, I'm with you. The, the chop isn't oh, a bad thing sometimes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Well, cool. Yeah. yeah, it's nice seeing a couple of the builds that you got. Unfortunately, I don't have any. Uh, well, I have LSs. But I, ha I don't have an LS project at the moment. Yeah. But we do. Um, You'll work on some of that stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, we do. I like to play with 6.0s. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm sure you get a decent amount of swap like type projects where they're putting yeah. them in different cars yes. and whatnot. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Cool. All right, guys. So we've, uh, we've come full circle here. We're back in the lobby of the shop. And uh, again, Derek, really appreciate uh, the tour. Rita, yeah. thank you so much. Always. It's Thank awesome you. to uh, get a chance to come back down here and uh, see the shop in person yeah. and uh, come by anytime. Yeah, it's cool yeah. seeing all the, the neat cars and engines that you guys are working on. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Thank you. Guys, make sure you guys are checking out what Derek and Rita are doing here at Drizza Auto. And uh, yeah, if you do have questions for these guys about the shop or about some of the work that they, that they do, leave that stuff down in the comments and we'll make sure to pass it on. Uh, and as always, make sure you're checking out enginebuildermag.com for more great engine content. Thanks for watching this shop tour, and we'll see you guys next time. Awesome. Thank you.